Okay, starting with the box hitch. You can see the bags are already packed, the mat is on. I've already tossed the cinch over the top, starting from the on side. You want to make sure that the hook, the hook is pointing towards the back of the animal. You lace your rope through the hook, you center it by jiggling the rope, and what you want to do when you pull it tight for a box hitch, you want to make sure you have it tight, but you don't have any metal, either the D-ring on the other side or the hook here touching the animal. Here's where you put a half hitch onto the hook to secure the box hitch. How you do the half hitch is you need to make a loop, and the easiest way is you just grab the rope, bring it up and twist it, and you set it on the hook and cinch it down so that it stays tight like that and the rope is tight, it's locked. Once again with the half hitch, you pull it tight, you hold the rope and with your right hand you just bring it up, make a loop, bring it up with a little twist and a loop and then pull it tight with the half hitch. Then what you do is you gather up your rope and you're going to either pass it to your partner on the other side or set it across the top and then you will travel around to the other side of the mule. Once on this side, you're going to start tying your box hitch. You're holding onto your tight rope. Easiest way that I've found to do it is you reach up like you're saying no or hi or however you want to do it with your hand. Turn your thumb down. Grab the rope with thumb pointing down. Rotate your left hand to the left, rolling your hand like a loop like that, and then bringing your, the loose rope with your right hand and setting it on the box loose rope and then you grab the tight rope with your right hand. So you have this loop here that you build and feather it in there so you have a large loop. With the box hitch holding the rope tight you hook the corners of the bag. So you go to the right, you go down and you hook the corner, you bring it back to your belly and I go to the left corner and hook it. And what I mean by hook it is you have the corner of the box here, you bring the rope and you go between the box and the animal and you bring it up, always holding it tight. You feather it up, grabbing the loose rope with your right hand, pulling it tight and on the top, you see how you get this little loop on the top of the box hitch right here, how you wrapped around the box. Then what you do is you have your tight rope in your right hand your loose rope down here and if you did the box hitch right you should be able to pull that rope tight and then you jerk up on it and what that's doing it's pulling the box up and away from the animal then what you're gonna do is you hold your rope tight you gather up your excess and either pass it to your partner if you're doing it by yourself you can toss the rope back across. What I do if I'm by myself is I'll grab a hook on the saw horn, on the saw buck right there, step across, and you begin once again tying your box hitch. So, once again, hand up, rotate your hand so the thumb's down, grab the rope, rotate your hand up to the left, you make a little loop there your right hand, grab the rope, left hand, build a loop so it's large enough to go around your box, hook the back corner, the right corner, on the off side it was the front corner, back side, on the on side now you go to the back corner, you hook the corner behind the box there, out to your belly, if you have not enough rope in your loop, you can feather it up, catch your front corner behind it, 
loose rope back around. Pull your rope tight. If you do get it loose, you can always adjust it as I did there. Pull it tight. You want to make sure your ropes are on top of your boxes here. Loose rope, you pull down to the bottom once again. Pull it up. If you're looking there, you can see how the box comes up off the animal. You want to up off the animal so it's not touching his sides. And then you're pretty much done except for tying off your hitch, which you do so with a half hitch. You can go back through your rope here. And this is kind of depends on the individual packer of how they want to tie off the rope. You want it secure, you put a half hitch on it once again, you can do another one. Then you always want to make sure you tuck it down underneath so it's not going to get caught on anything. And that's the box hitch with a practice load here.